All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this came as uh, quite a surprise to me. I'm not sure if I missed some kind of leak from a few days ago or something like that, but I wasn't really expecting a new Dokkan Fest category lead Extreme Z Awakening in the near future. But as you can see, according to the official Dokkan Twitter page, Tech Hit is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening on the JP side of the game in the near future. And I think I can speak for most of the Dokkan community when I say that this was one of the most needed, one of the most necessary Extreme Z Awakenings um, in the game, you know, like even more so than a lot of older units just because of how poorly designed. Uh, tech hit was for a Tokon Fest category lead. And obviously, this Extreme Z Awakening fixes a lot of the issues that uh, he had, and I'm very, very happy about it. I just wasn't expecting it, you know? But, anyways, yeah, his Extreme Z Awakening is dropping soon, and in this video, we are going to break down exactly what he does. But before we do that, let's talk about what he currently does. So, his leader skill right now is Universe 6, Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Universe Survival Saga, Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. His Super Attack causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy, and passive is Attacked Enemies Attack minus 20%, and Defense minus 80% for 2 turns, pretty good. High chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn, okay. Attack plus 120%, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 80%, and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. Okay, so this guy, when he first came out, he actually had the potential to hit quite hard, okay? So he, like damage was not the issue for him. Now, what you might have noticed, is that there is no defense to speak of whatsoever in his kit, right? Not in his passive, not in the super attack. Like, he was just, uh, I guess, a glass cannon, but he didn't even really, like, hit hard enough to be considered a glass cannon. He was just, I mean, the design was just dumb. Like, he had no defense at all, right? And luckily, the Extreme Z Awakening does fix that completely so what we're gonna do is now jump over to these translations here a big big shout out to i'm sure you guys guessed goresh for these amazing translations super super quick by the way like this guy literally had the translations out uh i want to say less than five minutes after the info dropped so he just continues to impress me with that but yeah thank you goresh for the translations and his new leader skill with the Extreme Z Awakening is going to be Universe 6, Category Q plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%. So basically, same boost, but Q plus 4 instead of Q plus 3 for Universe 6. And then Universe Survival Saga, Q plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 160% compared to 150%. Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance the stun so everything else is the same except for the fact that he does raise defense for one turn so that's a 30 percent uh defense increase right there already a step in the right direction but then we have his new passive which is uh let's see attack and defense plus 20 percent per universe six category ally attacking in the same turn and if all allies attacking in the same turn are in the universe six category gain a medium chance to stun all enemies, right? So kind of like the STR Jiren, where I think if you have a full universe 6 uh, category rotation with hit, then the entire enemy team, like let's say you're on Super Battle Road, you have like five enemies, there's a 30% chance that they're all automatically st uh, stunned before you attack or anything. So that's pretty cool. And then gains an additional attack and defense plus 160% when performing a super attack, gains an additional attack plus 80%, and attacks effective against all types, 
when attacking an enemy who is in the stunned status. And then attack the enemies, attack minus 20%, defense minus 80% for two turns, with a high chance to stun for one turn. Okay, so uh, a lot of the stuff is the same at the end there, but major differences, of course. Uh, you get the attack and defense plus 20% for each Universe 6 category ally. Attacking the same turn, that's nice. And then you have the ability to stun all enemies if you have a full Universe 6 category rotation. And then you also get attack and defense plus 160%. When supering, before it was only attack plus 120%, so now you get 160% to attack and defense. And then you also have the 80% attack boost and uh, attacks effective in assault types when attacking a stunned enemy, which is the same as before. And then uh, attack enemies, attack minus 20%, defense minus 80% for two turns, and a high chance to stun for one turn. So another issue with him before was that he really wasn't that impressive at all like not even on offense if the enemy couldn't be stunned right like there are a lot of enemies these days that just can't be stunned straight up like a lot of bosses and if you faced an enemy like that then hit was you know even less useful or even more useless than uh he could have been if uh you could stun the enemy right so like he loses like this part of his passive completely and now even if you don't stun the enemy, and even if you can't stun the enemy, he still at least can get attack and defense plus 160% when performing a super. He at least still gets the attack and defense plus 20% per universe 6 category ally. And he also, uh, let's see, gets the, you know, defense increase on a super attack. So at least defensively, he's going to be pretty impressive. Um, he is going to be a slot 2 or slot 3 unit just because... He's not getting the majority of his attack and defense boost, specifically the defense boost, uh, until he attacks. So you don't really want to put him in the first slot where he's susceptible to attacks before he gets the super, right? So that is a bit of a problem, but otherwise, um, I'm a fan of this easy A. Uh, I think they did enough to make him usable now. He is probably going to be doing some pretty good damage if you can stun the enemy and his defense should be uh maybe not like crazy but still very good um i don't know exactly what the number would be but if you have a full universe 6 team or at least a full universe 6 rotation um and then you super it should be i don't know like 150 200,000 200,000 plus possibly if you have a rainbowed hit i'm not really sure about the calculation but what I can tell you is that he is going to be able to take quite a few hits compared to before where one hit could completely take him out, you know? And uh, yeah, there you go, man. That is the Tech Hit Extremes The Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Uh, I feel like I'm a little bit delirious right now just because it's very late. And honestly, like, my mind's not running <laughs> optimally, I guess, because I'm like... I was about to fall asleep, basically. Like, I was literally in bed, about to go to sleep, and then the news dropped, so I had to wake up and uh, film this video. So, if something I said didn't make any sense, that explains why. But, there you go, man. That is the Tech Hit Extremes The Awakening. Like I said, very, very much needed, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and guys, that's it. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.